a very pleasant morning my dear family members dear friends the month of july is dedicated to the precious blood of our lord jesus christ let us now pray with faith love and hope dear friends as i pray the prayer to the precious blood of jesus i request you to pray in the silence of your hearts precious blood of jesus heal me precious blood of jesus cleanse me precious blood of jesus free me precious blood of jesus wash my thoughts precious blood of jesus purify this situation i am living precious blood of jesus have mercy on me alleluia dear friends please do like share and subscribe dear friends i say pray the prayer to the precious blood of jesus i request you to surrender yourselves your intentions your needs your family members your relatives your neighbors your friends your benefactors and all those who have asked of your prayers into the healing hands of jesus and experience his healing touch and abundant blessings that flow from his wounds prayer lord jesus by faith in your merits i now take your precious blood and sprinkle it over myself and my family right from the crown of my head to the very soles of my feet i claim total and complete protection for my life and my family lord jesus keep me free today from evil sin temptation satan's attacks and afflictions fear of darkness fear of man sickness diseases doubts anger all calamities and from all that is not of thy kingdom fill me lord jesus with the gift of your holy spirit and grant me the gift of wisdom knowledge understanding and discernment so that i will live today in your glory by doing that which is right amen my dear friends by clicking the like share and subscribe buttons we proclaim praise worship and glorify the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit i pray that the triune god will embrace the entire world peace joy and healing may be felt by everyone today's catholic mass readings and reflections july 19 2023 wednesday of the 15th week in ordinary time first reading a reading from the book of exodus chapter 3 verses 1 to 6 and 9 to 12 moses was tending the flock of his father in law jethro the priest of midian leading the flock across the desert he came to horeb the mountain of god There an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire flaming out of a bush as he looked on he was surprised to see that the bush though on fire was not consumed so Moses decided i must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burnt When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely God called out to him from the bush Moses Moses he answered here I am God said come no nearer remove the sandals from your feet for the place where you stand is holy ground I am the God of your father he continued the God of Abraham the God of Isaac the god of jacob the cry of the children of israel has reached me and i have truly noted that the egyptians are oppressing them come now i will send you to pharaoh to lead my people the children of israel out of egypt but moses said to god who am i that i should go to pharaoh and lead the children of israel out of egypt he answered i will be with you and this shall be your proof that it is i 
who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Your response, the Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. Your response, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. Your response, the Lord is kind and merciful. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 25 to 27. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in the gospel reading of today from Matthew chapter 11 verses 25 to 27, Jesus reveals his intimate relationship with God, the creator of heaven and earth. He addresses God casually as his own father. Only someone who knew God very intimately can do so. Jesus knew God in his bonds. That is why he can claim that no one knows the Father except him. For indeed he is the Son of God. Dear friends, Jesus gives praise to God the Father and acknowledges him as Lord of heaven and earth. He is actually showing us how to pray. Aside from the Our Father prayer that he taught as recorded in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 to 13, here he utters a prayer to praise God who created heaven and earth, and therefore he is Lord of everything and everyone. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, God is the ultimate wisdom and understanding. We can't have wisdom and understanding unless we have an intimate relationship with God. Only God is the source of everything. Only those whom Jesus wishes to grant it shall acquire wisdom. If we truly desire to know him, he will reveal himself. That's what we find in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you. Prayer Dear Jesus, I humbly pray that you reveal to me wisdom and knowledge of the Blessed Trinity. I may not be worthy, but I believe that it is your joy to share your deep relationship with the Father. I now open my heart and mind to the outpouring of your grace and mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for your blessings. We ask all these things through the intercession of Mary, the mother of Jesus, and in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.